Happy New Year. It's 2021. Uh, hoping to get a lot more videos on the channel this year. Um, only really started it September. Um, just as a as a little hobby, and I'm really enjoying it. So hopefully, as this year progresses, we'll get more and more out there. So first video of 2021, and I want to talk about the British Army Basher because we can't get enough of that military surplus kit, can we? Eh? British Army Basher, it is a great piece of kit. Um, I've had mine for ooh, 10 years or so now. Um, and if you use it the way it's intended, it's absolutely brilliant. It's, it's a little bit smaller than 3x3. Three three. So it's, uh, if you go out and buy a tarp from Amazon or somewhere like that, you'd generally be buying a 3x3 three three one. Um, and if you're going to try some of the tent tarp setups that you'll see all over YouTube and the like, then you'll want a 3x3 three three tarp because they're designed around a square setup. Um, and some of them will, will take up so much of your of your actual tarp itself in, in getting the shape that they're a bit small um, I used I see if I can find a picture and put it in I used this particular setup uh, with my tarp with my 2x2 two two tarp and it's it's only just really big enough um, and I spent most of the, the night when I when I did that setup with my head sticking out anyway but you know I mean you use it with a with a bivy bag and that's not a massive issue you can sort of have your feet out and all the rest of it and it does help keep your kit dry and um, more recently I used it and again I'll put another picture in here this set up in the woods and it was perfect to be honest it didn't really need anything more than that um, but you could do a simple A-frame and, and, and whatnot but the burning question how the bloody hell do you get it back into its stuff sack and that's what I'm going to show you today So this is the uh, this is the offending article. You can see if I bring it a little bit closer, that bag's really quite tight and it's packed in there. So a lot of people have put off buying these because they think they're difficult to sort of uh, what to, to, to pack away and look after. They're really not. I would urge you to go and get one. They're a fantastic bit of kit, and you can always sell it back. There are. I mean, you go to an army uh, surplus place and buy one of these. I can't remember which this was actually. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Coffee. Gonna drop the lid on top of it so that it goes out. Um, yeah, you get one of these from an army surplus store, and if you don't like it, they're gonna buy it back off you. You know, you obviously you'll lose a little bit, but you might lose what maximum ten or something like that. So I said, go and get one, give it a try. If you don't like it, give it them back. Yeah. So here's the bit that that most people don't like. This is the uh, that's the bag it's gonna go back into, and I'm just gonna. Like so. So, um, so there you go. It's snowing quite heavily now. Um, you've finished doing what you want to do. It's time to put it away. Uh, you've got some really good guides with this. Um, so along the, the, the spine of it, if you like, is a reinforced. There you go. A reinforced edging, and that's what we're going to start with. We're going we're to go along that so that it's folded along that. Now the trick with getting this away properly is making sure you don't roll it into a closed position. Um, by that what I actually mean is if I was to start rolling this from the open end, air would get trapped and that's going to make it difficult to, to, to roll it. So I'm not going to roll it that way at all. Everything's coming up from the centre um, reinforced strip. So I'm going to fold it and then come down and grab it again there. So what I've got now is reinforces, reinforced edging at one end and then the reinforced centre uh, is, is the bit that I'm working from. And all I'm going to do now is just fold it again along that reinforced edging. So I've got the tabs out and then one more time. 
So this now is, you'll notice, roughly the same size or the same width as the bag. So now I've sort of got all this bunched up, I want to try and keep it that width all the way down. I can tell you what, this has gone bloody cold. And that's my open end, that's where I want the air to come out. bunched up so it doesn't slip. It is sliding in. Okay. So, what I've got now is, uh, is it's in most of the way and there's a bit sticking out the top um, and, and that's fine. There's a lot of room still down here. It will compress a little bit so I'm just going to literally just fold the tags in, push it down into the bag and then tighten up. Draw string like that. Just give it a bang to get it back to shape, and that is it back into its stuff sack. So it's just a matter of uh, remembering to roll from the folded edge out to the open edge so the air gets out, and then keeping that width. So you fold it, fold it, fold it, that gives you width. Try and hold that width as close as you can all the way down. They are very slippy, so. They can be a pain in the arse to work with. But that's the uh, easiest way to put away the British, uh, British Army basher. Cup of coffee time. Oh, need that, it's cold. Sooty. So there you have it. The uh, British Army basher packed away into its stuff sack. No problem, is it? But like I say, give it a go, get one. Have a play with it. If you don't like it, sell it back. 